When we digest the lipids of our diet, the intestinal cells which absorb them package them into balls known as chylomicrons. Now lipids won't travel through the blood, so therefore they need to be carried by these protein balls. Three proteins are used, ApoB48, ApoC2, and ApoE. These protein balls are then absorbed into a lacteal, and from there in, uh, through the lymphatic system into the blood. As the chylomicrons pass through the blood, they bind to enzymes on the cells lining the blood vessels called endothelial cells. Uh, they bind to an enzyme known as lipoprotein lipase, and this enzyme digests some of the fatty acids of the chylomicron and releases them into the blood. Once the fatty acids are digested, they can be bound to albumin and transported to fat cells. Thus, as chylomicrons pass through the blood, they become smaller as their fatty acids are digested. Eventually, the remnant of the chylomicron reaches the liver, where it binds to receptors on liver cells and it is absorbed. The liver then repackages these lipids. Uh, it changes uh, the ApoB48 to ApoB100, and uh, the particle which is now created is known as a VLDL, a very low density lipoprotein. And the liver cell then releases this VLDL into the blood. As the VLDL travels through the blood, once again it can bind to lipoprotein lipase, the enzyme on endothelial cell linings, and fatty acids can be released. The VLDLs will become smaller, becoming IDLs, intermediate density lipoproteins. And these IDLs will once again reach the liver. There they bind to liver receptors, are taken in by endocytosis, and the liver uh, then converts uh, the remaining particles into LDLs. The enzyme hepatic lipase digests any remaining triglycerides and uh, some proteins are removed so that an LDL is only a bowl of cholesterol with one single protein, ApoB100. The liver then releases these LDLs, or low density lipoproteins, uh, into the blood and they enter circulation again. The LDL particles pass through the blood and will eventually bind to LDL receptors on the endothelial cell linings. Now, most cells of your body have LDL receptors. Since cholesterol is essential for all cells, and it is, for example, a component of the cell membrane. And so the LDLs contain cholesterol, which pass from the blood uh, through the endothelial cells and can reach the cells of your body by binding to these LDL receptors.